What is going on guys, just Wafa here, and welcome back to some more Stardew Valley. Now, last time we left off, we actually got our very first Iridium quality item over here. That's what this red snapper is, apparently. I had to literally look it up because I didn't know what that purple would be right there. But it's, it's one step above the uh, the gold, which is really interesting. And yeah, we actually sold one of the golds last episode and it gave us like basically no money. So I think what we're going to do is, because you can see the community center is wiggling over there. I do want to do donate this red snapper to the community center and uh, we could actually get that done. Oh yeah, I didn't make the uh, the box this, uh, yeah, because we made it last episode after I went to bed, yeah, so it didn't save. Uh, but I did make a box over here last episode. Where was, uh, oh yeah, I was getting wood. Uh, and I, I do want to put like more valuable stuff up inside of it. I, I, that's why I made it like gold or whatever as well. So there you go, we got a chest. Let's put that up over here. And I can already hear it's raining outside. Uh, another thing we did last episode was we actually started upgrading our watering can to copper. Because you can see we have our copper axe ready to go now. We have that thing fully upgraded. Definitely want to go try out how this thing's going to be, you know, cutting down trees and whatnot. Are we going to get more wood? Are we going to, you know, use less stamina? Maybe we cut down multiple trees at a time or something like that. I don't know. I guess we'll just have to see. But uh, I do want to put up the iridium red snapper up inside there. Going to keep that uh, right there. And then we also get this ancient doll too. I also I also want to go over to the uh, community, or uh, not the community center. Well, I, I do want to go over there. Oh yeah, and then we yeah we have a few other things like hops is uh wait what? Oh, well, I guess I clicked on the scarecrow right there. But uh, hops is ready to be harvested every single day. Don't need to worry about harvesting uh, or uh, watering any of my crops because it's raining. And we do have all of this uh, other foraging stuff over here done as well. So let's actually pick up everything. Uh, another thing people said, oh, jeez, more thunder and lightning happening. <laughs> another thing people said is that uh, if you want to check if crops are like ready to go, just hover over them with your mouse. You don't even have to walk over them. But uh, you can see the wheat has a little plus symbol next to it. And I believe we need to get our scythe or sickle or whatever. Uh, yeah, scythe. We need to get that out and actually use that against that. And uh, we'll get a bunch of hay. And speaking of hay, I do know... Oh, yeah, look at this. Hay and wheat right there. Awesome. I do know we need... Oh, man, did I just destroy a crop? Oh, I can't really tell. Is there something... Oh, man, I hope I didn't. Yep. Yep. Is that working? Oh, these... Oh, I think I skipped a watering on one of these, so these might not be done. I don't know what happened right there, by the way. I don't know. Maybe maybe a piece of, like, weed or something like that grew over there. <laughs> like, like... Lawn pests, not demonetizable stuff, YouTube. Golly. Let's put the scythe back up, though. There we go. And uh, I think, yeah, the torch, even the torches are lit during the rain. So both the campfire and torches are lit during the rain. Makes zero sense, but whatever. Uh, let's see how much hay that we have. Uh, yeah, we have four there. Plus two. Oh, man, we had eight right there. Nice. I think we needed uh, only ten, right? Or, uh, let's see, what was it? Artisan bundle? I guess something else. Wasn't it? It wasn't, uh, was it Boiler Room Adventures? No, it was the bulletin board, wasn't it? Yeah, the fod Yeah, we need 10 hay for her. We already gave her 10 uh, wheat right there. And then three apples. We don't have any apple trees. We don't have any, like, trees at all. Like, fruit trees at all. So we definitely want to think about that, you guys. Uh, let's put up regular wheat there, I suppose. And let's start using our new chest over here and dye it yellow for, uh, for you know, gold, for, like, special stuff. And put, like, rare stuff, stuff up inside of here. And then, uh, you know, a little bit later, I'll, I'll determine, oh, do I want to sell it? Do I want to actually uh, use that for something? Uh, that'd be pretty good. What did I use that for? I don't know what was in that chest. It's just kind of nothing's not, nothing's being used inside there. Uh, red mush. Oh, yeah. I did get comments saying, uh, let me keep grabbing more, like, gold and silver star stuff from here, though. Uh, that way, we kind of keep everything nice and separate. But I did get a comment from someone saying, I can go into that cave that's by my base. Uh, I don't think there's going to be... Yeah, there's no other uh, gold or silver star stuff there. But I can go to that cave near my base and actually get uh, mushrooms from there. So I want to go myth bust that. See if any mushrooms are available over there. And if so, that's going to be great because uh, that's just going to be another thing we can start forging for. Let's put up two of those because we only need ten. Uh, but that's going to be another thing we can start forging for. Uh, like every day, like every day I'm going over to the beach, I'm foraging over there for seashells and whatnot. Because we are supposed to get some really valuable seashells over there. And then of course... Uh, oh wait, what happened here? I think one of the torches actually got broken, right? Or something. Uh, oh, wait, was it this? Yeah, we had a torch here previously, and I guess it got, like, over overgrown by the weeds, <laughs> which is kind of funny. But I don't think anything else over here needs to be uh, tended to, so I think we're good to go there. But, oh, yeah, uh, let's go Let's go check him on that, uh, that, that, that cave that's over here on the top left. Or, like, the middle, top middle, yeah, like, right there part of our base. Let's go over here and see what's, what's going on here, though. Hold on. Get rid of that. There you go. Is there anything actually in here, though? Or, uh... Yeah, there's nothing in here. I don't know if this was the cave they were talking about. I know they said to check inside of some cave to try and find mushrooms. I don't know if that was the one they were talking about, though, but I do want to go over to the community center. Donate that fish. Donate the, uh... Oh, and then we have random fire right there as well. Oh, yeah, yeah, I was about to say. Uh... 
with the hay and stuff like that because I do want to this episode I do want to cut down a bunch of trees and actually start using our uh, new upgraded copper axe I do want to actually uh go check on what was her name again Leah no that's not I don't think that was her no it wasn't Penny either it was Robin yeah I need to go over the Robin and uh I think buy a silo and I forget how expensive that is but I just want to see how expensive that is that way we can start working towards that and then every time we break the uh the tall grass over there not the weeds but the tall grass we're supposed to get hay out of that and it like automatically appears inside of the silo I believe right so that's something to look forward to but uh let's go over to the bulletin board because I do know this is where the hay goes for the fodder but okay here we go boom we still need three apples uh, I think they were like a thousand, two thousand dollars per apple tree or something like that. So, you know, pretty expensive. But might want to actually start thinking about. Uh, oh yeah, then uh, which which? Uh, I need to check which one of these the red snapper needed to be an animal. No, I don't think it was that. I don't, I don't, I don't think it was any of the fish, was it? Uh, ocean fish. Oh yeah, it was. Okay, ocean fish over here at the aquarium. Okay, so let's let's go put the uh, ocean fish over here. Or the uh, red snapper over here. Even though it's a gold star, we can still put a regular one there, and it's just fine, which is great. Uh, we already know that it's, it's worth like basically it's like double digit money. So it's nothing too crazy there. I, I think I'd rather put her over here at the, uh, the community center and get that done and over with. Apparently last episode I did miss worms. So kind of upset about that. Now I need to be extra vigilant. Make sure I don't miss any more worms. <laughs> we do have a thing over here at the bulletin board though. Uh, would like to put quartz under my what? I'd like to put quartz under my pillow. Please deliver it to me or uh, deliver it sometime today. 75. Go I guess we could do that. Give we give that to Gus and we get 75 gold. Is this someone's birthday today, by the way? Oh, yeah, it's Demetrius's birthday. Ooh, yeah. Uh, let's go home. Let's go to let's go see if we have like a potato or anything else. I know he likes potato or he's, he's at least neutral about potatoes or he likes he's OK with them or something like that. But uh, I, I also want to check like what else does he like? Because I don't know if we still have those because that was like a springtime thing, right? Yeah, he likes potatoes and salmon berries. Man, does he like anything else though? or? I'm like, I could probably give him like a tulip or something like that. Like, it seems like everyone likes tulips. And yeah, I did. I did get a comment from someone saying, yeah, Penny is like apparently the only person in Stardew Valley. No troll there that likes. Uh, what is it called? The, the, the flower that started with the letter P. <laughs> poppies. Because <laughs> I remember the alliteration with Perry or uh, what was it Penny and Poppies? Uh, let's put that up right there. What was I doing just a second ago? Oh, yeah. Do I put, oh, well, I do have potatoes, so I can give that to Demetrius for his birthday, so that's going to be good. We need to get a quartz for Gus for some reason. I guess he really likes, like, poking himself in the head with quartz while he sleeps. I don't know. Or maybe he's trying to fool the tooth fairy, <laughs> and he's trying to get uh, the tooth fairy to give him some money, hey, even though it's just a piece of quartz. Uh, maybe the tooth fairy will think it's a tooth or something like that, and he'll get, like, a dollar or something. <laughs> I don't, I don't know what I don't know what his reasoning behind this is, but he's paying me 75 gold for it, so might as well get something out of it, right? Uh, actually, yeah, I think the uh, I think the saloon is actually closed until like 4 p.m. or something like that, right? So I think we need to go down there. I want to go up here to Demetrius, give him his birthday present, and while we're up here, let's go talk to Robert, I believe. Uh, hold on, wasn't it somewhere here where the worms were? I'm trying to remember. Oh yeah, right there. Yeah, man, I missed. Whoops, missed that too. Yep. There we go. Oh, well, it was just clay anyways. Whoops. Oh, are these, uh... Yeah, we don't get anything from that. I think I remember uh, reading a comment a while ago saying, yeah, you don't you don't get any more, like, berry or uh, bush, like, stuff until, like, fall or something like that, right? So, let's go to... Oh, whoa, what was this? Another cutscene with Demetrius and Maru. Oh, hello there. That was a weird voice to give Maru. <laughs> My dad and I are just testing some soil samples. Oh, yeah? What, what for? Don't be shy. We could use a hand, actually. Ah, all right, I'll help you. What are you looking at potatoes and stuff like that? I know your dad likes potatoes. Could you help? Uh, could you watch this beaker for me? I'm going to grab the last batch of samples. Oh, no problem. I'll be right back. All right, let me look at that beaker. Hopefully, don't explode while I'm looking at it with whatever chemicals you put inside of it. <laughs> so, Demetrius, I heard it's your birthday today. Thanks for helping out, Waffle. Hey, no problem. I'm like, I'm just looking at a beaker. I'm like. I don't know why I have to do it. It's just, it's not like anything's going to happen to it, right? Right? <laughs> Mara's a good kid. She's my special little girl. Yeah, she's pretty cool. I definitely want to get better relationship points with her, though. I know she's, like, kind of on the back burner. I keep forgetting about people like her. I'm, I'm focusing on the people like Abigail with the, the Amethyst and, and Shane with the hot peppers and all that kind of stuff. I uh, definitely want to remember other people because there's, like, 28 people in the town, right? I wouldn't want anything getting in the way of her bright future. Know what I mean? Is that a threat? It kind of sounds like a threat there, Demetrius. Just some food for thought. <laughs> I don't know. Kind of sounds like a little bit sus, if you ask me. 
Like, why did Demetrius say that? It's a little bit weird. Do you think I'm going to, like... Oh! Hey, sorry about that. I hope you found something to talk about while I was gone. Yeah, sounds like your dad was threatening me over here or something. I don't know, that's just kind of the vibe I got. I was just telling Waffle about the soil samples we're testing. Oh, that's a bold-faced lie! Right, Waffle? Say nothing. Actually, your dad was just being weird. Should I do that? I don't know. I'm like, it's his birthday. Should I? I don't know. <laughs> oh, man. What am I going to do here? Maybe if I if I say, oh, your dad is just being weird, she'll probably be like, yeah, I know. He's, he's a little bit weird. He's a little bit quirky. Yeah, everyone's dad is, right? That's kind of the meme about being a dad, huh? I don't know. Maybe I'll just say nothing. I'm like, it's, it's, it's his birthday. If it wasn't his birthday, I'd probably do this one and, 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 and be like, yeah, your dad was being weird. But I guess I'll just do this and I'll give him a potato afterwards. <laughs> uh, well, we better titrate this solution before it crystallizes on us. Whatever that means. I don't know. I'm not a chemist. Okay, here, Waffle. Let me show you how to use the equipment. All right. I guess I'm going to become a chemist now. Oh, and then I got kicked out of their house. <laughs> okay, that was kind of a weird thing. I never noticed this was a lab. I always thought it was like a kitchen or something like that. Uh, anyways, Demetrius, hey, it's your birthday, isn't it? And we just had a weird interaction. And I'm, I guess we're just going to act like nothing happened there, huh? Maybe I was being a little presumptuous earlier. Sorry. Yeah, I yeah, think. <laughs> What's this? Stereo microscope. Oh, yeah, it's one of the ones where you can look through both like, eye holes instead of just one. Can I give? Oh, yeah, I have to hold the potato. There we go. A birthday gift. That's very kind of you. I love it. Yeah, throw, throw that potato under the microscope and see what you see, huh? Oh, and here's right. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I think that's it, right? Truck farm buildings. Is that it? Barn? No, nah, well, these are pretty expensive. Fourth that we could probably have done the coop, honestly. We had 4,000 at one point in time. The barn for... I'm like, we should probably start with coop because, you know, chickens are smaller. And then barn dwelling, we could have like cows and pigs and stuff, I assume. Then the well, yeah, I'm like, the well, eh, maybe that'd come into handy here in the future if my farm gets big enough and I don't have to keep going to that one pond that's near my base or near near my actual farmhouse. I could just go to this well, keep it in like the middle of the farm area and just refill my, uh, oh, here it is right here. The silo allows you to cut and store grass for feed. It's only a hundred gold, but it's 10 clay, five copper bar and a hundred stone on top of that. Ooh, we could do that. We could definitely do that. Five copper bar, we have that. Ten clay, I'm sure we have that. Hundred stone, we might not have that, but it's not too hard to get, right? Just go to the mines, just break a bunch of like, stone, and then boom. Uh, but I'm pretty sure if we don't have that, it's probably because I donated it to the or uh, to the community center for something else, right? Demolish buildings, no. But yeah, the silo, that's the thing I need to build. And then the mill allows you to mill wheat, beets, and rice. 2,500 gold, 150 wood, 50 stone, and then four cloth. How are we going to get cloth? And then there's the shit. I assume that's the like busted down building that's near our base that we could kind of re reinvigorate into it being a shed i assume and there's a fish pond raise fish and harvester prude oh so i guess we could just have our own fishing area like in our base without having to go to the ocean or the the, the river or whatever else right that's interesting five thousand gold 200 stone five seaweed and five green algae relatively cheap and in terms of like these things down here materials and whatnot but five thousand gold that's a lot of money <laughs> And then the cabin there, a home for a friend. Yeah, I see something, something. Well, yeah, that's 100 gold, 10 stone. That's nothing. We're not in multiplayer, so that doesn't really matter, right? And there's, yeah, there's like multiple different cabins. You could have 10,000 gold, 100 hardwood, five iron bars. Allows me to keep and ride a horse. And you get a horse, too. Ooh. And then the slime hutch. You could raise up to 20 slimes. And then the shipping bin. Yeah, I guess if we, we don't have, if we want to have another one of those things in our uh, base, we, I guess we just buy another one for 250 gold and 150 wood. That yeah, makes sense. And, okay, it just circles around. Okay, so what was it again? Uh, 100 stone. I might just write this down real quick just so I don't mess this up. 100 stone, 10 clay, 5 copper bar, and then just 100 gold. Yeah, there you go. Pretty cheap. Honestly, thought it'd be like a thousand minimum. But yeah, a hundred gold. Yeah, we could do that. No problem, you guys. Uh, anyways, Maru, what do you have to say? Thanks for helping out in the lab. Yeah, no problem, Even though your dad was being super weird, but it's his birthday, so I'm letting it slide. We're pretty in... Oh, I thought she said she was pretty insulted by something. Jeez. We're pretty insulated from the rest of the world here in Stardew Valley. Yeah, it seems like it. It has its pros and cons. And uh, I guess I can't talk to you anymore. Okay. Well, anyways. Oh, and there's like a picture of a train right there. Interesting. 
I never really looked like the artwork and stuff like that. But either way, it's 2 p.m. right now. And speaking of clay, we do have a clay in our inventory, which is good. If we don't have the tent and clay already, uh, that's going to help out a little bit. But I need to go down here to the bar or the saloon or whatever. Give Gus a piece of quartz for who knows what reason. And then while we're in the area, I go down to the community center. Or, uh, man, I keep getting a mix. I don't know why I keep getting a mix. I didn't even check on what the luck was today. Boom. And OK, well, at least we know it's oh, what in the a lucky lunch. What? What is that? 100 energy, 3 luck, and 44 health? Ooh. Might want to save that for an unlucky day and while we're in the mines. That would probably help out quite a bit. Welcome. Hey, well, thank you very much, Gus. Good to see that Pam isn't here at 3 p.m. I'm like, it is a Friday. You'd think she'd be here, like, in the morning, right? But here you go, Gus. Hey, Waffle. Is that the quartz I requested? Thank you so much. Hey, no problem, Gus. Here's your payment as promised. And what was it, 75 or something like that? Uh, yep, boom. Man, we're getting rich over here, you guys. Pam is thirsty, I know. Bring Pam a pale ale. Yeah, we need to... Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Um, you can brew one yourself if you have hops in a can. Yeah, so, I think I mentioned it last episode. I don't even know if I even finished my thought whenever I was mentioning it last episode, but, uh, I, I was talking about how someone said, yeah, if you have, if you have hops and a keg, I think I was trying to think of what the keg was called <laughs> for some reason. <laughs> I forgot what a keg was called. Broken glasses again. Uh, but, oh, yeah, and then we have more stuff over here we can get. Periwinkle. I don't think that's a... Is that a what? Oh, that is worn. Look at that. It's kind of hidden right there. And we got another book. Oh, yeah. Don't we have another book? Yeah, we have like two books we need to read over at the library or something like that. Uh, but yeah, uh, what was I saying? Oh, yeah. If we have a keg, I guess we can uh, right click it with hops and then that would get us a beer or uh, whatever. And then we can give that to Pam. And I guess that's how we do that mission, huh? So either way, we do have a thing to give to you. Donate to museum. What was it? The Yeah, this thing. Gunther can tell me more about what. where we're we going to put this one. Uh, it's I guess we can put it over here. Just kind of balance things out a little bit. Maybe like right there then. Okay, we're like voodoo doll. <laughs> Let's go see what that's all about. And we do have like a book or two that we could read about as well. Let's see, where is it? Right here? I don't have to click for this. Oh, here we go. Scarecrows. Once you start growing a lot of crops on your farm, you can expect to be visited by crows. Well, we have quite a lot of crops on our farm. Like a lot of like uh, foraging things as well as like actual crops. And I don't think we've seen any scare. Well, then again, we have a scarecrow. So maybe that's why I haven't seen any crows, right? <laughs> that just explains it. In the morning, you might discover that a crow has made breakfast out of your hard work. One way to prevent those bothersome crows is, uh, from eating your crops is to set up scarecrows near your crops. Be aware that scarecrows have limited range, so you'll need multiple if your farm is large. Scarecrows keep track of how many crows they've diverted. You could use that to tell if they're in a useful spot. Collectible scarecrows aren't just for looks, they work just the same as the regular model. <laughs> Okay, <laughs> that's kind of weird little 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 description there at the very end of Jojo Mart like pushing scarecrows or whatever they do. <laughs> Anyways, let's go over here. Uh, oh yeah, it's fr yeah. Another thing I, I forgot to mention earlier on. Uh, oh yeah, by the way, ancient doll. The ancient doll is covered in grime. This doll may have been used as a toy, a decoration, or a prop in some kind of ritual. Yeah, it looks like a voodoo doll of some guy. It looks like me. Well, it's got the blue shirt, but like it's got brown pants, so I guess it's not me. And he's bald, so <laughs> I guess it's not me. It don't look like he's wearing sunglasses, so I think I'm safe, you guys. I, I think I'm safe. No one's been doing any voodoo memes with me, huh? <laughs> so that's good. And I think we can go over here and check him on the blacksmith and see how he's doing uh, with, with our watering can. I think we gave it to him yesterday, right? Oh, he just closed. Whoops. But yeah, I think we gave it to him yesterday, so I think tomorrow we should get the uh, the watering can. And by the way, uh, like I was trying to say just a second ago before I interrupted myself or whatever, I, did, I want to uh, I want to go over to because it's Friday. Oh, hey, there's us. Oh, I don't have any stuff for Shane uh, I, because it's Friday. I do want to go over to the Wizard's Tower, like above this lake over here. Apparently, we could actually buy something over there called like a, uh, a rare seed. And that's going to get us. It, it takes like a whole month to grow or like a whole season to grow or whatever. But it, it gives you a lot of money or something like that, right? And it's been a while since I read that comment. I wrote it in my notes roughly. Uh, but that, that's basically what it does. You're supposed to get a lot of money out of it. It just takes a long time. You're supposed to get a lot of money out of it. Another broken sea. Another thing is that uh, the trash, like the actual literal the item that says trash, like that, that, that is actual garbage. Like you shouldn't use that. You shouldn't keep it or anything like that. But stuff like the broken CD, the broken glasses, those are things that you can uh, recycle later on. And I probably missed some worms, actually, now I think about it. Uh, but yeah, th those are things you could recycle. I do have over a thousand dollars. I think it costs a thousand dollars from what I remember. Yeah, so there, yeah, see, there's a cart thing right there, and that weird guy with a pig with a little fez hat, and he just waved at me. <laughs> All right, so a plum pudding, wood fence, walleye. Don't we? Ah, I think we need that for something, right? Oh, we get a quote. Oh, well, that's 1800, man. 
Body sprinkler. Yeah, that's the one that we just placed down like two episodes ago, right? And then we have a tulip there. Albacore. Oh, jeez. We can get a lot of stuff here. You got summer spangle jelly wild horse rash. Randomly, we can just get that, even though it's a springtime thing. I guess it just kind of had. Oh, there it is right there. Rare seed. So in the fall, it takes all season to grow. Yeah, so th that's why I've been told to get this. Because you have to do it in the fall. I guess it takes all fall to grow. And then you get it, and then you get good money out of it. But it costs $1,000, so hopefully it gets me like 10000 or something like that, right? So I guess we'll buy it. Uh, let me, oh, wait, no, never mind. That's I was about to scroll down, see if there's anything else. But no, that's it. I guess we'll get the rare CD, guys. Boom. $1,000 right there. We're going to have to put that up in storage until the first of fall. And then, of course, uh, another thing I want to do whenever it... Uh, oh, yeah, by the way, is there anything... I know I don't have any money, but uh, I can I could probably come back here, I think, was it... Yeah, Fridays and Sundays, so I can come back here Sunday and probably buy, like, a tulip or uh, the walleye or something like that. I, I know we need a walleye for something, but I just forget. Oh, we have another one of these. Oh, I forgot to put the bait back in this thing. Whoops. Hold on. Let's do this. Put bait. At least do that there. I guess we can go to the beach real quick, uh, forage for some stuff over here. Don't want to don't wanna do anything with the seed right there. I don't want to waste that. And I also want to cut down trees and stuff like that. I completely... Like, I'm like, I didn't completely forget about it. I, I've just been preoccupied with a bunch of other stuff. Especially with, like, Demetrius' birthday and, like, that weird cutscene that happened earlier on and all that kind of stuff. Going to the community center, going to the museum, all that kind of stuff, right? Oh, yeah, and then checking up on, on Robin, seeing what we needed to uh, to get the, the silo. I definitely want to make that before the end of the episode. Definitely want to cut down some trees, test out the axe, and get the, uh... Oh, yeah, then we have a bait we put here. And uh, I also want to get the... What I just... Oh, yeah, cut down the trees. Oh, yeah. I also want to get the silo. At least, you know, start gathering some of the materials. Like, I, I feel like the only thing we're going to have trouble with is the stone. Because I feel like we donated, like, all of our stone to the museum already. So, we might not have the stone. But the, was it 10 clay, 5 copper bar, and 100 gold? We have that. Like, like we could do that, no problemo. Oh, we have another core right here. Oh, yeah, remember last episode? We Or was it the episode before? I forget. Yeah, right there. We have, a, we have a chance of four. I, I got comments saying, how did he not notice he got, like, two coral that one time? But, yeah, now we have a, a foraging, like, boost or something like that. We only got one coral right there, though. Uh, but we got, like, a foraging upgrade where we have a chance of getting double the, like, drops or something like that every time we forage for items, which is really cool. And it seems like we just myth-busted right there. It does work for things like corals and, I guess, anything else you just randomly pick up. Anything you just forage, right? So I thought it might have just only applied to stuff like grapes or spice berries or, you know, foraging, like, plants and crops and stuff like that. But I guess not, which is really, really cool. It is uh, 8 p.m. I, I have full energy. I might as well go cut down some trees just because I feel like... And, of course, we're going to get a lot of wood. We'll be able to make a lot more chests. We'll be able to organize things a lot more. That's going to be great. And, of course, we need wood to uh, to upgrade, like, our house and stuff like that, right? Like, it, it costs 10000 but I think you also need, like, a bunch of wood and, like, maybe stone and some other stuff, too. So, you know, just getting a lot of wood. I don't know if you can sell wood. I'm sure you can, but it's probably not worth it to sell, it, right? Uh, but I might as well just, you know, keep it all and use that to upgrade our house. I probably should have wrote that down whenever we're looking at uh, Robin's thing just a minute ago. Oh, yeah, that was a completely, completely different thing, yeah. Whenever you uh, upgrade your house, it's like a completely separate thing from, uh, I guess we'll sell the, sure, sell that spice. Yeah, sh sure, there you go. Uh, but yeah, the, upgrading the house, that's a completely separate thing from, like, the shop part of her uh, inventory, right? So, either way, uh, while I was selling stuff just a minute ago, whoops, whoops, that's the wrong thing. Uh, I, I do want to see if there's anything else I want to sell before I forget. And let me put up the rare seat. Well, my Zongus is blocking the, get out of the way there, Zongus. What in the, he's getting up and he's laying right back down. Get out of the way! Man, he was blocking the doorway last episode. He's blocking the chest this episode. Okay, whatever. I'll put it over here then. Y'all, actually, you know what? Uh, should I put that here? In the right? Nah. Hmm. I'll put that here in this I don't know. Like, I really want to put it there, but he's blocking the thing. So I'll put the rare seed in there. So there you go. Uh, oh, yeah. And then uh, clay. Oh, yeah. We've got tons. We've got tons. We've got no problema with that, you guys. So there you go. We have the 10 clay. Put the uh, broken glasses up, the broken CD, put that up. Lucky lunch. I definitely want to, you know, I'll put the food up inside of this chest. There you go. And then rare seed. I guess I'll put that up over here. And there you go. Okay. And I think we're good to go. Oh, yeah. Five copper bar. We need that as well. Let's see. Do we have that? Yeah, we have that. I think uh, a couple episodes we actually tested out how much money you get from each copper bar. And it's like basically nothing, right? It's like 60 or something like that. Like, it's not worth it. So I don't think we're going to be doing that. But wow, two hits with the copper axe and it breaks. Of course, we still have to, uh, to to chop down the stump afterwards, but wow. Unless we already weakened that tree. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 
okay, never mind. Yeah, I guess that tree was like already weakened or something like that, huh? I don't know. I might be I might be a little bit surprised here. Or maybe maybe different trees take different amounts to break. Like maybe maybe certain species just have harder wood than other ones and they're just harder to cut down or something like that. And of course we have like these twigs here or whatever. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, cutting down trees, shouldn't it cost like less uh, stamina and stuff with like energy? And you should break them a little bit faster or something like that, right? Either way, we're cutting them down. I feel like we're cutting them down a lot faster than we did previously, which is always good. I don't think the cop- I, I, I guess we tested out on that big stump right there. But I think the- Oh, jeez, lightning struck like right below us right there. I want to check what that's all about. Oh, wait, no, we can break this one with the cop one. Ooh. Yeah, boom. Okay, so- Oh, we got hardwood out of that. Ooh, we have a big stump, uh, n near, uh, farm, like, over there. I do want to go- Oh, jeez, more lightning, more thunder. I, I do want to go cut down that stump that's over there, though, because that one's kind of blocking, uh, some of the farm area over there. Oh, yeah, it's getting late. We're half energy right now. Might want to watch out for that. There you go. But, yeah, now that we can cut down trees, we could easily break stone with our, uh, copper pickaxe. We could easily break, uh, like, weeds and stuff like that with the sickle or the scythe or whatever. That's not going to be a problem at all. I, I think now we finally have the ability to actually expand our farm out, like, properly, you guys, which is great. Now, unfortunately, it's getting really late out. I'm going to continue doing this tomorrow, but... Oh, and then we got more hardwood right there. Yeah, how much do we have? We have four there. We need ten for the community center. I think we have... Oh, what? I can't check as long as it's blocking it again. <laughs> Man! All right, well, I'll cut down a couple more trees. I know there's a tree right there. I don't, I don't know if I want to get rid of that sapling there, though. Like that little baby tree. Maybe I'll just let it continue to grow. I'll, I'll, only, I'll only cut down, like, actual trees here. I think that's going to be my rule. There you go. Just because I feel like if we just kind of wait, we'll be able to get more wood. I don't know. That, something's blocking right there. I can't see. That ah, might be weeds blocking that, actually. Now, let me let me cut down this tree right here, though. And then, yeah, I think there's more stumps over there by the uh, the grandpa's, like, memorial or whatever, right? So that's going to be really cool. Cutting down that big old stump. And, yeah, there are a lot of... Yeah, there, and there's another stump right there. I didn't even see that one. Yeah, there are a lot of stumps, like, all over the place, you guys. It's crazy. And, of course, yeah, definitely want to, like, where the tree lands, definitely want to try and grab some of the wood and whatever else. Like, where it lands. Just because it kind of gets hidden in the weeds and the tall grass and stuff like that, too. Oh, 150! No! I wasn't looking at the clock. I was too busy jibber-jabbering over here. Go, 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 inside, go inside, go inside, go to bed, go to bed, go to bed. No! I'm gonna... Okay. Is there a penalty? Like, what happens? Okay, I guess nothing happened. Okay, that's good. I assume nothing happened. We had like only a hundred dollars, so like the most we could lose is like ten dollars, right? You 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 lose like ten percent of your money. But uh, coral, yeah, we got hundred from each silver star coral, eighty from regular ones, and then spice berries. A hundred from each silver star, not bad at all. The periwinkles, we got twenty from each. Eh, I guess it's okay. Like it'd be good if we got more money out of that, but whatever. Anyways, day twenty of summer has started. Now is it still? I think it's still raining today, right? Oh, hey, look at that! As long as it's out of the way, as long as it's finally out of the way. Yes, the copper watering can is ready. That's what I wanted to check on right there, you guys. Awesome. Uh, oh, hardwood, perfect. I think we only need ten of that, right? Where do I do? I think it was construction bundle, wasn't it? Where is that? Chef's bundle. I think it was the crafts room. Yeah. Yes. Okay. So there you go. And then, oh yeah. And then uh, ninety-nine. Okay. I think we might be able to do the construction bundle here, you guys. 99. Okay, we cut down a couple more trees and then we'll be good to go. Because we have 180 or 183 right there and we need 198, I think, right? 99 and then another 99, right? So, oh, we got a mahogany seed. Ooh, this could be planted to grow a mahogany tree. We haven't had that yet. Interesting stuff there, you guys. Uh, oh, yeah, what was another thing I wanted? Oh, yeah, I need 100 stone. Yeah, I need 100 stone to get the uh, the silo, unfortunately. So, yeah, Um, I guess we could check real quick. Do we have a lot of stone? Oh, yeah, we do. Okay. Yeah, let's go get the silo. Was it exact? Yeah, it was. A, I wrote down 100 stone. It said 99 wood. I didn't know if it was 99 stone for this. But let's get this. 100 stone there. Boom. We have the copper bars. Yep, we have that. We have the stone. We have the clay. We have the money. Yep. Okay. Well, let's... Oh, whoops. Uh, We have a... Oh, and we have mail right there. Wait, did someone really, like, rescue... I, I passed out my house. And now I'm going to get mail, like, a, a bill from someone saying, Hey, you passed out in your house and I had to come rescue you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow, look at all the hot pal. Man, you guys remember when if we planted all those hot... We're going to get so much money there, you guys. It's going to be amazing. I wanted to say thanks for taking an interest in my work. Here's a cooking recipe that I like. Demetrius. Hey, that's pretty cool. New recipe, uh, fried mushroom right there. Awesome. Well, he's a pretty cool friend, you guys. Dear Waffle, here's a recipe from my saloon. I only share this with my good friends. Hey, and Gus? Looks like we're getting really good friendships with Demetrius, Gus. Uh, I think last episode... Yeah, remember last episode, we played a game with Abigail on our, like, SNES, which is pretty cool. Uh, 
but yeah, we're, and of course Shane earlier on as well. We're getting really good friendships over here, you guys. That's awesome. Salmon at dinner from a uh, guest right there. Pretty cool. And we got another mail right there. Hey there, had some extra wood lying around and thought you could use it. Take care. 50 wood from Robin. Don't mind if I do. I do need that. Remember, we need that for the construction bottle. I was about to cut down a couple more trees, but hey, she had us covered right there, you guys. Man, we have such good friends in this, this, this town, you guys. I definitely want to continue... Like, like, building up our friendship with everyone, but I, I kind of have to balance it with the, uh... Oh, and by the way, is there a fast... I guess, like, yeah, I can just hold down right-click while I'm just walking around here. That'll harvest all that. Wow, look at, look at how fast I can get these, two. Can I... Oh, yeah, I have, to, I have to be somewhat near them, too. Oh, yeah, the blueberries! Blueberries are ready again. Wow, look at that. Yeah, definitely want to... Whenever there's, like, a berry thing like that, you can get multiple stuff from... And then, yeah, these are ready as well. Awesome. Corn is still going to be quite a while, right? Like, that takes, like, two weeks or something with like that. Uh, but remember, we're still able to... Oh, wait, no. Yeah, that, we're not going to get the corn until, uh, like, the first week of fall, right? I think we figured that out, right? Oh, yeah, but we did put fertilizer there, though, so that should speed it up a little bit, but either way. Uh, so there we go. Oh, and we have more mail there. What in the world? Everyone's, everyone's my second friend here, you guys. It's awesome. There you go. Cut down more wheat right there. I don't think anything else needs to be harvested. And it's raining today, so don't need to worry about uh, watering. And we need to go get our, speaking of watering, you need to go get our watering can, you guys. So let's definitely do that. We have blueberries there. I definitely want to keep those at least right now. Oh, yeah. Now we have the, uh, where did I put that rare seed? Yeah, there it is right there. Let me go put that up over here where I wanted to put it originally, right? Uh, so there you go. And the uh, blueberries, I get to put that up in there. I should probably make, like, a separate chest for foraging and a separate one for farming stuff. I'll definitely have to do that, you guys. Uh, but let's put up all the regular stuff there. And then the quality stuff, gold star, silver star, iridium star, put that up over here. Uh, yep, everything over here has uh, got a star next to it, so that's good. So there you go, nice. So, anyways, oh, now Zong, <laughs> Zong is always at the block the way. Let's check up on the, the TV, though. It's been a while. I forgot to do it yesterday and stuff, but, uh, okay, clear and sunny all day tomorrow. That's going to be perfect for testing out our new watering can. Definitely want to test that out tomorrow, or oh, that's going to be next episode, actually. Seems like every episode now, we just do two in-game days worth of stuff, which is kind of perfect, honestly. Ah, oh, I sense a new viewer has joined us. A young man from Stardew Valley. Welcome, welcome. The spirits are in good humor today. Hey, a little extra luck. Don't mind if I do. Anyways, we have a couple places we need to go to today. You got, oh, and we, yeah, we have another mail, too. Let's see what this is about. Waffle, I've been gathering data on the correlation between soil alkalinity and crop fructose levels. Long story short, I need a fresh melon from your farm. If you brought one to me, or if you brought me one, I'd be very grateful. Yeah, let's accept a request from Demetrius. That's good. I... Do we have any, uh... I know we have melons grown. I don't, I feel like we sold them, though, right? Unless, uh... What do they look like? I I might be blind here, but I don't think we have any melons. We have a strawberry, though, there, which is pretty good. Went to root randomly. I don't know what that's all about. I think you just eat that. I don't think you plant that, though. Yeah, I don't, I don't think we have any, uh... Yeah, I'm not seeing any there. Yeah. Might have to wait a little while for our uh, watermelons down here to grow. I know we have a few of them growing. Yeah, see, look at this. We have this whole strip right here of melons growing, or watermelons, or whatever they are. So, yeah, I, I guess we just have to wait a little while. And then, yeah, we have hops here as well. Don't want to forget about the daily hops right there. So, oh, and those are all just regular hops as well. So, I guess we just put that up over here. Yeah, I'm getting so distracted. Like, so many things are happening, you guys. We need to go over to Demetrius' house. We need to go buy the silo. We need to go to the community center. We need to go put up the hardwood, the wood. And then, yeah, we will have the construction bundle done. We need to go down to, uh, what's his name? Clint. We need to go down to the blacksmith. Go get our new copper watering can. That's going to be amazing. Definitely want to test that out. Can't test it out today because the whole heckin' place is watered. So, you're going to have to wait until next episode to test it out. But, uh, also while we're in that area, kind of want to go down and, uh, check up on the, the, the beach. See if there are any corals down there for us to forge. And hopefully get double corals from, right? But, let's go over here to the community center first. And then go up to Demetrius. While looking for worms and stuff. <laughs> I think, uh, what is it called? Construction. I think that's just down here, right? Uh, we need to put the wood, or, up. Uh, yeah. 198 wood, I believe, right? And, what was it? We'll see here in just a sec. Yeah, and then 10, 10 hardwood. So there you go. And then, 299, and then another 99. Hey! Bundle complete. Perfect. All right. What are we going to get from that? Boom, that's done. And we got a charcoal kiln. Turns 10 pieces of wood into a piece of coal. Ooh. That could be good. Aren't we able to craft that? I guess if anything, that's kind of good that it crafted it for me. Yeah, yeah, we are able to. It, I guess it just saved me 20 wood and 2 copper bar, which honestly is kind of underwhelming. 
<laughs> I don't know. I should be I should be grateful for that, right? And then yeah, we have a lot of stuff. We unlocked a lot of stuff over time. We don't we don't want to forget about this stuff, you guys. Wood fence, stone fence. Kind of want to use stone fences over that, but that's going to get expensive over time, right? Maybe maybe I'll just start with like wood fences, especially because I'm going to be cutting down a lot of trees, uh, and then I guess later on replace them with stone fences. I don't know. I'll, I'll, I'll have to figure that out when the time comes. But let's go up here. Let's go to Robin. Let's go buy the silo. I don't know if we get to choose where to build it or if it just kind of goes in a predetermined spot. I guess we'll see here in just a sec. As I'm low worms. Oh, look, look, look at that. I was, I was purposely looking around for worms. Boom. Found a lost book. The library has been expanded. All right. Any more worms? I'm not seeing any. Okay, that's good. <laughs> let's go over here. Hey, Robin, how you doing? Let's do construct farm. But yes, uh, where is it? This? Where? Which? There it is right there. Okay. Can I do that? Demolish build. Yes. Yeah, nothing's red right there. Let's do it. Let's do it to it. Where are we? Oh, yeah, you can choose. Ooh, cool. Uh, I don't know if I want to put it here just because I I, I kind of want to have room for my house to expand. What do I have this? I can't do anything there. Could do... Could do that. Well, I've got a torch block in that. We have a tree that I randomly I need to get down. Uh, I guess we could do it up here or something? Like over here by Zongus' watering bowl, and it doesn't really make sense. I don't know where to put this. Can I move this later, though? I don't know. I I, I hope I can. Maybe I'll just put that. Yeah, you know what? I'll just put it over here in this corner. I'll just put it over here, just because there's nothing over here, anyways. And I, I, it's not going to be in the way of the house, like possibly expanding here in the future. So let's put that right there. Boom. Oh, nice. So is that going to. Okay, I'll start working on your new silo first thing tomorrow. Okay. I was about to say, like, how long does it take? Is it like an instant thing or not? But yeah, there you go. Okay, cool. All right. That's awesome, though. I'm liking I'm liking all this, like, stuff we're slowly getting to, to try out here. Like, finally building a, our first structure. I assume the same thing. I wonder if the same thing happens with your house. Like, are you able to still go inside your house while she's, like, upgrading it or something like that? I don't know. <laughs> I guess we'll have to see. But uh, let's go down to... Where am I going to? Oh, yeah. We need to go get the copper water again. I kind of want to check, though. I don't think anyone... Yeah, no one's birthday is today. We did miss uh, Alex and Sam's birthday, so... Then the dwarf. We don't know anything about him. We need to spend, like, tomorrow's... Or next episode. We need to spend the next episode just giving that random dwarf in the cave just random items and seeing what he likes. <laughs> and just, uh, hopefully we actually get something good for his birthday, right? But let's go over here to Clint. Let's go get our, uh... Oh, we picked up literal trash over here, of course. <laughs> I don't know why it was such bad luck with that. I feel like we have, tr like, actual trash out of that way more often than anything else, all right? But... Let's go over here. Oh, yeah, and then we have a... I guess we'll look at the book over here, too. Hey, right, look at that. There's Penny. I don't have any uh, poppies for you, though. Oh, wow! Oh, man. I, <laughs> it's like it's like I'm over here, like, autopilot going to check him on the trash cans, and Penny catches me. Um, why are you digging in the trash? I wasn't. I was putting I was putting this trash in the trash. We well, can't even put trash in trash. That's kind of weird. <laughs> All right, hey, uh... I'm going to go inside. I just wanted a quiet moment. Yeah, it's kind of rainy out here. You don't want to. You don't want to stay out here for too long. Let, let's read whatever book this is over here. Where is this? There it is. Go see what this is all about. Oh wait, what in the world? I already read about the scarecrows. There you go. The secret of the star drop. For thousands of years, people have been intrigued by the mysterious powers of the star drop, but no one knows where they come from. Ooh, Professor R. J. Cutler, a leading researcher on strange fruit, says this. We've discovered traces of genetic material on meteorites that closely resemble the star drop, but it's not a proven match. Regardless of where they come from, the peculiar fruit is said to be uncommonly delicious, and some even claim they grant special powers to those who eat them. Ooh, interesting. So it sounds like we need to find these, like, star drop things. I wonder if we actually get them from space. Like, if a heckin' random meteorite comes down and lands in my farm and it's, it's a fruit or something like that. I could just plant the seed and boom, there you go. We, we have a star drop fruit that we just grow in our farm. <laughs> That'd be a good one. Hey, look at that. We have a uh, Lewis. I'm here to collect Clint's business tax. Whoops. Well, uh, I'm here to collect my there you go, watering can. So there you go. Uh, Clint did get like $2,000 from that watering can. So we should have the money to give you for business tax there, uh, Lewis. So uh, be sure to get that money from him, right? <laughs> All right. Well, we got our watering can, which is good. So let's see. How's this work? Can I just, uh, I don't think I can test it out right here, right? Oh, what do we goes, uh, one... I mean, it looks like it's only working on one thing. Oh, wait, one... A train is passing through star... Oh, my gosh, it's probably a once-in-a-lifetime event. Hold on, hold on, let's go. Let's go north. We have the train station open now, so... Let's go up there, let's see what's happening. Maybe I'll heckin' get on out here and people will wonder what happened to me. <laughs> 
let's go, let's go, let's see what's happening up here. This has never happened before. I'm very curious to see what's happening. I don't know, I don't know why I'm in such a rush, by the way. Like, there's literally a train station. Obviously, the train's gonna stop, right? It's not just gonna go through and I have to, like, jump on the moving train to see what it is, right? <laughs> let's go up here and let's see what this is all about. I'm very curious. All right, so let's see. What is this? As we enter the train area. Oh, yep, there it is right there. Boom. Oh, wait, no, it's not, it's not stopping. Get on the train. What? Get on the train! Ah, get on it! No, I'm gonna... I missed the train. Golly. Man. Well, at least I wasn't standing here before he came through or else I would've gotten killed, right? <laughs> Anyways, you got some worms right here. Boom, more hay and more clay. Don't mind if I do, right? And can I cut down these trees? I should probably see. Now no one's over here. No witnesses are around. Can I cut down these trees? What in the world? I guess you can't. Okay. Get rid of these weeds real quick. Hold on. Oh, you can. Oh, my gosh. I'm grief in the area. <laughs> Don't mind if I do, hater. Boom. Oh, do you get different wood from this, though? Hold on. No, you just get regular, uh, regular wood and sap and whatever else. Okay. So nothing, nothing, nothing special there, I suppose, huh? Either way, uh, we got a lot of really good stuff done today, you guys. I definitely want to try out the copper watering can. Uh, I guess we can, yeah, I'm relatively low on energy. I do want to continue cutting down some trees. Uh, I definitely think it makes sense for us to cut down some more trees, uh, especially because... You know, we just got the heckin' uh, axe, right? So, let's go over here, let's go to the spa. Let's go re-energize ourselves real quick. And I guess for the rest of the day, it's 2 p.m. right now. We have we have a decent amount of time. I guess for the rest of the day, we'll just cut down a bunch of trees and, you know, clean out more of the area around our base. And kind of just ignore all the tall grass. And I guess we have to cut down the weeds and stuff like that. But uh, the tall grass, I kind of want to save that for whenever the silo's actually done. Hopefully, it's going to be done next episode, right? Uh, either way, crop research, bring him a... Yeah, uh, hopefully we'll get the melon here somewhat soon. I forget how long it takes for a melon to grow, but... No, it shouldn't be too long for Demetrius to wait for a melon to research, right? And there you go. Looks like we're full on uh, stamina right there. Awesome stuff, you guys. Cool. So, let me just head back to the base. I guess we'll cut down a bunch more trees until, like, uh, like 1.50 a.m. or something like that. And then we go to bed and possibly pass out, like, in a, inside of... Oh, yeah, I guess... Yeah. I guess there was no penalty when you pass out inside of your own house, huh? So, I guess that's good. That was lucky, because it was, like, literally 1.50 whenever I was, like... I was, like, oh, man, and look at look at the time. Oh, it's 1.50. So, I'm surprised I was able to go from, like, the middle of my farm area back to my base, inside of my base, or, like, inside of my farmhouse, in time for that. That was kind of crazy. There's uh, Linus right there just randomly under the tree. Hopefully, he doesn't get struck by lightning or anything like that, right? But... Either way, let, let me head back to the base, and we'll cut down a bunch of trees until I basically pass out from no energy, or pass out from it being 2 a.m., right? <laughs> oh yeah, look at this, we have a lot of trees right here. I do- oh wow, oh yeah, we got a maple seed right there, cool. I do know uh, some of you guys were like, like half and half on me, like doing this like busy work on camera, so I guess I'll show a little bit of it. Uh, not, not necessarily all of it, but I guess I'll just show a little bit of it. But I guess I'll clean out these trees that are right here, and those trees that are to the left as well, and, and these right here. And I also want to find the big, like, stumps, too. Uh, those are things I would definitely want to get. And yeah, some of the yeah, some of the wood and whatever else is kind of hiding out in the tall grass. Kind of why I want to get rid of that, right? But, uh, let's see. Oh, yeah, isn't isn't this something here? Oh, yeah, see, look at that. We got a maple. So I guess I guess if I left that there, it would have eventually grown into a, a sapling and then eventually a big old tree, right? But uh, I'll take it anyways. <laughs> I have a little bit more control of where these trees are growing, right? But either way, let, let me cut down a bunch of trees and stumps and whatever else. And I guess I'll see you guys here in just a bit, and we can probably end off the episode and start looking forward to next episode, where we're hopefully going to have that silo done, and we'll be able to test out that new copper watering can, too. I guess back. I'm basically out of uh, energy right now, but I remembered, yeah. Can't you make... Where is it? Yeah, we have pine cone there. I think it's maple seed and acorn. Can't you make those, uh... Yeah, here it is, right here. Field snack. Cool. Yeah, I can just make those, but I don't have, like, any pine cones. I had, like, no luck getting pine cones a minute ago, so... I guess we'll see if we have any extras over here, and I guess I'll just eat those, right? Uh, no. Okay, that's kind of weird. I thought we'd actually have some. Okay. Well, either way, uh, I also want to go check up on the, uh, the, the beach as well, because I completely forgot to do that. I want to go check up on if there's any, uh, seashells over there. Don't want to forget about that. I don't know how long whatever event that was that, like, we saw earlier. I was like, oh, you can go to the beach and have a higher likelihood of finding, like, rare, like, like seashells or whatever, right? And we found, like, a bunch of rainbow... Uh, corals or whatever it's called, right? Oh, wow, we have a big stump right here, too. Cool. Uh, let's definitely get rid of this. But I'm trying to get rid of some of the trees that are underneath our base that are kind of blocking a bit right there, right? Definitely makes sense to try and get rid of those. I don't know if we have enough energy for this. We have nine. I guess I'll continue trying to cut down this. I can't see it, though. Where is this tree? Fiona's... Oh, what? 
Oh man, I'm I'm sluggish. I'm over exhausted. I didn't see the tree right there. I guess I was using my energy anyway, so that sucks. <laughs> man. All right, let's go inside here. We did get some uh, hardwood there, didn't we? Interesting. And we have a uh, charcoal kiln thing right there. I definitely want to try and use that out. Uh, use that as well. Is there anything here I could actually eat? I'm like, of course there is. There's plenty of stuff. Pepper propas. I guess we could do that. Plus two farming. I probably should have ate that earlier today, right? Uh, I guess I could eat. Oh yeah, gra yeah, grapes. Or I forgot how underrated grapes were in terms of uh, getting like energy back, right? Let's see. Eat a grape. Yes. Eat a grape there. I'm still exhausted though. Oh man, that sucks. I guess it's just like a, a, a nerf that you'll have until like you go to sleep, huh? So that sucks. Man. All right, let's put all the acorns and whatever else up over here. It kind of belongs here. Yeah, we got a lot of wood. That's good. Definitely going to be using that for upgrading our uh, base here. I forget. Uh, I don't know if I... I don't know, yeah, there's nothing like telephone or anything like that. I can't like call Robin and be like, yeah, how? what resources do I need in order to uh, upgrade my house? I need to actually go over there and talk to her, which kind of sucks. I'm still... Uh, I don't know what that actually is. I'm moving around just as fast as I would have, was a minute ago, so... I don't know. I'll put that right there, though. Uh, but let me go over to the beach. I guess we'll check up on the... the See if there's any corals or whatever else over there. Yeah, it's 10 p.m. Yeah, we should have enough time. Doesn't it take like a whole hour, in-game hour, to go from your base to like one side of the map? So, yeah, I, we should be able to go over there and get back just in time without it being too crazy, right? But let, let, me, let me go down to the beach, see if there's anything of note down there. And I guess I'll see you guys here in just a bit. And we're here at the beach. Is there anything here? So far, I'm not seeing anything. Yeah, we weren't yet. Yeah, we, wait, no, I don't think we've been here yet. Today, at least. Oh, yeah, well, there's a broken CD right there. I guess we could uh, grab that real quick. Yep. Let's grab some bait out of there. Put that back in there. There we go. Grab pot. I don't know why the crab pots are so good at picking up trash and broken CDs and it, broken glasses and stuff. <laughs> like, like so many people are losing their glasses around here. Yeah, some optometrist is making a lot of money by just selling people more glasses because they keep losing them. <laughs> you got double coral right there, which is good. Yeah, another coral right there. Really hard to see during the nighttime, though. Like, it blends in with, like, the rocks and stuff, like, a ton. Is that a thing? Is that... I thought that was something right there, but I guess not. Yeah, see, and then, yeah, isn't there supposed to be a guy right there whenever it rains? I guess he doesn't show up. Maybe it's a little too late right now. But at least we got a couple things there. Sea urchin, a couple uh, corals right there. Not too bad. Oh, yeah, it's getting late right now. I was just checking if there's any, like, whirlpools or anything like that for me to take advantage of. And you maybe get a little bit more fish real quick, but, yeah, I probably shouldn't do that when it's 12, 10 a.m., right? <laughs> Anyways, any worms here? I don't, I don't think we missed any. I was looking around. Oh, wait, hey, look at that Willy randomly at past midnight. What is he doing? Well, I guess, yeah, he was probably at the saloon, hanging out over there, socializing and whatnot. Now he's heading back to his house to go to sleep, which I am definitely needing to do right now. So let me just head back to the base, and I guess we can go to sleep and start looking forward to next episode. All right, well, it's 1 a.m. right now. I guess I can go inside of the quality drops chest or whatever you want to call it and see if there's anything that I'd want to sell. Gold star hops. Yeah, I guess we'll sell that. So we'll sell that, sell that. Sell everything. Gold Star Parson. I think we, yeah, we need that for the community center, though. I'll check. Yeah, these don't need to be. Yeah, no, those don't need to be for the community center. Tulip, I definitely want to save that hot pepper. I guess we could save those for Shane. Or maybe just a couple of them. I'm like, we have so many hot peppers, like, we're definitely going to get way more, right? But it is uh, 1110, so we do have a little bit of time to go to the shipping container. Put everything inside there real quick. And I think we're good to go. Yeah, there you go. Okay. Put the bait back inside there. Boom. Then put the uh, the broken CD inside of its respective chest over here, and I guess we'll go to bed. And then I guess it's going to get rid of the uh, the exhausted little little thing that's over there on the left or on the right. Hopefully so. I'm like, it only makes sense. We're literally going to sleep, right? That's like the cure to exhaustion. Anyways, got a pretty good amount of stuff from farming right there. Eight hundred one dollars. Three uh, gold star wheat. We got thirty seven a piece. Not bad. One hundred twenty gold from each gold star grape. Not bad. Uh, four gold star or uh, silver star hot peppers. Fifty a piece. 60 from each gold star uh, hot pepper right there. Eh, not bad. I probably, eh, maybe I would have saved it for Shane or something like that. I don't know. 37 from the gold star hops and then silver star wheat, 31 a piece. Not too bad. Forging stuff though. Sea urchin, 160. Amazing there. 40 for, or a four for each. Wait, no. 84 each four of the coral there. Golly. <laughs> and then 100 from each uh, silver star spice berry and then 62 from a uh, silver star sweet pea right there. Not bad. Didn't get anything else, but 1443 overnight. Not bad, you guys. Good money right there. As we enter the meme number day 21 of summer year one. Yeah, only one more week left, you guys, which means, uh, oh, 1994 dollars. We're, we're getting close enough to upgrading, uh, I guess, the hoe next to get a copper hoe. And that'll be pretty much everything, huh? So anyways, I do want to check out 
Oh yeah, these are watering things right here. Yeah, I did get a comment saying there was a little bit of overlap with the sprinkler, like it, this thing's getting like double watered, but I guess it's not that big of a deal. I didn't have anywhere else to put it that would really make sense, but we'd have uh, corn over here. One pepper, one pepper. Wait, that's corn. Wait, what is this then? Oh yeah, I guess this is corn. I bought even more corn down here, didn't I? Yeah. Yeah, I think that's what happened. And then we have wheat here. Yeah, this, or uh, not wheat, uh, melons. We have melons here. Those aren't ready just yet, unfortunately. So we're going to have to wait a little while for those. And all these foraging items here. I don't know what happened to this. Is this thing dead? I guess not. I guess it's just what it looks like for whatever that is. <laughs> but uh, yeah. Oh yeah, uh, let me water stuff. Let's see, how's this work? Yeah, see, no, it's, it's still watering one thing at a time though. And I, I yeah, I'm super exhausted too. <laughs> I need to go to the spa next episode, but uh, is there a way to? I guess we're just watering faster, or like using like less stamina, or right click. No, is there a way to? Because uh... I was told you could do, do like multiple. I might have to look this up real quick just so I don't freak out about this. Oh, hold left click to power up an upgraded watering can, and then release it. When a, okay, hold on. Hold left click to power it up. Ooh, yes, they okay. Yes, I think I mentioned. Oh, you could water in like a line or something with that. Yeah, this is what they're talking about. Whatever I read that comment. Awesome. Okay, so you just kind of have to hold it down. I assume it uses as much energy as if you watered all three of those like manually, right? I, I, it only makes sense, and I'm, I'm going to have to do this again tomorrow, or uh, next episode, or whatever, right? Because uh, this isn't going to save, it only saved overnight. But this is pretty good. Does the same thing happen with the, the axe, though? Like, oh man, now I'm excited. <laughs> man, I have no energy or anything like that, man. Uh, I was conducting a field study the other day, and I found this specimen. I hope you find it as interesting as I did, and he gave me a nautilus shell. What? Getting some really cool things from Demetrius, you guys. It really pays off to be good friends with him. Wow, let's give him another potato today. <laughs> or, you know, next episode. I need to remember to give him another potato. But speaking of next episode and whatnot, I guess we'll end off this episode right here. We got a lot of really good progress done. I'm really proud of today, you guys. And if you guys are as well, uh, be sure to let me know by leaving a like down below. And if you guys want more of these awesome videos, be sure to hit that subscribe button. And while you're down there, be sure to ring that bell so YouTube sends you a notification as soon as next episode of Stardew Valley comes out. Still no uh, mushrooms over here, though. I don't know what that guy was talking about. Maybe I'm not deep enough into the game. And they uh, thought I was deep enough to, like, where mushrooms started growing there. I don't know. But yeah, next time we come back with more Stardew Valley, definitely want to continue messing around with our new uh, copper watering can, cutting down more trees over here. And is our silo done? Or I, I don't think it is. Oh, oh, that's what that noise is. I was wondering why I was hearing like, like, like banging like just a second ago. And I was like, oh, I, I wasn't hitting a tree or anything like that. But no, that's just Robin over here, literally building on my house or my silo. I wonder how long it takes her to uh, under construction. I guess I can't actually talk to her while she's busy over here, huh? I'm like, I'm trying, but I can't. <laughs> Interesting. Okay, so that, that explains all the like the banging and other tink 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 noises I've been hearing in the background. But hopefully next episode we'll have the silo done and we can get rid of all this tall grass over here and it becomes like wheat or hay or whatever inside the silo and we'll do a bunch of other stuff. But until then, thank you guys all very much for watching. And I'll see you guys here next time with some more Stardew Valley. Oh, bye there. Oh, whoops. I I meant to do that as like waving goodbye with my dog. I didn't mean to. Cut this out of the video. Oh, yeah, it's not going to save anyways, because whatever. <laughs> oh, bye there. <laughs>